Thank you, obviously, first of all, for sitting here and taking the time to, to hang out with us. I know that you're, you're very busy, especially on a Saturday during the holidays. <laughs> to, to come down and hang out with us is very, very cool. So I, I really appreciate it. I wanted, to, I wanted to ask you, because this is something, and I, I mean, we haven't had this conversation, and so I thought this, was a, this would be a good, a good place for it. You know, growing up in, in Mumbai, and, you know, the, way that, the way that you did, I had my kind of aha moment with coffee, where I was like, I was at a I was at a coffee convention and I was served coffee on this particular machine for the first time. But I had never tasted a coffee like this before, and it really stood out and resonated. And from that point forward, I knew what I wanted to do in in coffee. For me, I somehow never had this aha moment. Somehow, I have always liked to, when I was a kid, I always wanted to do a business. It didn't matter what business, and I wanted to do a business which involved pleasing people through through your hands or through something which was personal. Yeah. I think if I was a hat maker, I still would be equally happy. Food just became that source of my way of pleasing and doing things which I felt would attract attention from a human being. I would love to just hear um, a little bit about how you, how you came from, from Mumbai and what, what brought you into, into the States and you know, kind of where you're at now. I came to go to the uh, Culinary Institute of America and I came three days prior to my schooling. I mean, I was very lucky. Uh, Typhoon Brewery, which was my first job, uh, I was basically uh, the pastry chef who was over there was going to become the pastry chef at John George. Mm -hmm. So he asked me, would you like me to, uh, like, would I like to join him and go there? And I was like, of course I would. Doing Iron Chef. Yeah. Um, so I had never, I had never seen it. I've never. Don't I, worry. I, I, had, I, I was just telling them that I had never seen a single Iron okay. Chef episode before. Uh, we had just opened the Fadi, and then we had this couple who kept coming quite often as a regular. After uh, uh, some time, she told me that she works at the Food Network and she's getting married. Would I like to do her wedding? So I said, okay. sure, I'd love to do it. Of course, people from her work were all there. Her boss, her boss's boss, and all of that. Yeah. And one week later, we got a call and said, we want you on Iron Chef. We really like your food at the wedding. Yeah. So that's how I got it. If it wasn't the wedding, my answer was that's a no. So, awesome. so it was so cool. How that so happens. it was. It was just. I mean, the same thing happened with my book. Actually, I mean, I had a, a tea and um, uh, and chocolate business. One day, someone sent Judith Regan, who ran Regan Media at yeah. HarperCollins, yeah. a, a box of tea and chocolate. Yeah. And she picks up the phone and says, where do you, so like she asked for me, I said, it's me. And she said, where do you source your boxes? I said, I get it from India. He says, who designed them? So I said, I did. Where did you get your, who chose the paper? I said, I did. So she goes like, we need to talk because I think we have a book deal. And I went into the office, she gave me a two book deal. Obviously, you know, we need to talk about me and you. Um, I would love for you to, to, to share with us about this you know, very unique and, and wonderful dining experience now that you have that's actually right next to graffiti. Great. Please. So it's our private dining room. It seats anywhere from two to 14 people. And basically what it is, is we do menus whatever you wish to eat. It could be a memory, it could be a cuisine. So you write in a form, we send it a form to you, which is like a match.com for your palate. Whatever you write is how we cook for you. It's uh, something that we just want you to feel that you are here because you want to eat that and, and how we can recreate that experience. Like, uh, I love Italy, and that, but it'll be our take on Italy. Yeah. It's a, can you it explain that just so that people know that just, because I I, we haven't talked very much about, about your, your food, which I'm a, I'm a huge fan of. But could you explain how you would how you would take that, like say, let's say, let's say that that's what I did. Like I oh, said, right. Jahangir, I'm, I'm looking for, I had this amazing, I was in Rome and I had this experience and 
can you please recreate that for me? But it'll be in your way, which will be right. right. And so maybe, yes, we will take some Italian influences. Yes, we might have pasta and ravioli, but it will be with a twist that makes sense to me, which makes it could be a sauce that may not be something that you're used to eating, such a spicy sauce with a pasta. Yeah. Or it could be something that you might have never thought of eating, a coconut-based ravioli. But, but the aspect was there. It was... Yeah. It was right there, and then we could push the envelope with something different. So how would I how would I sign up for that? Do I go to the website? Or yeah, do I... You, I mean it's me and you, uh, nyc.com, or basically you can uh, you can just go on Jahangir at Jahangir Meta. Okay, so I want to move on to our rapid fire. Oh my God. Segment. This is where we get dangerous with with questions. Can you roll your R's? <laughs> so we'll check that as a no. That's fine. <laughs> um, who who was your first kiss? My childhood friend Shiraz. Shiraz. How and that's you? how I met my wife through Shiraz. Really? And my wife told my Shiraz about for six months that I should marry her instead. And, and then when Shiraz took no interest in me, my wife took interest in me. That was very nice. That's very, how. very nice of her to, to yeah. do you that favor. Yeah, to do that favor. <laughs> and Shiraz, uh, it nice. was more than a kiss. I, I went, very nice, sir. Good job, yeah. as always. Very, very, the man of romance. So. Um, well, Jahangir, um, Thank you for, for taking the time, especially now at this, this time of year. Thank you for, for sitting with us. It is an, for me, it has been just an absolute joy spending time with you and, and getting to know you oh. and, and watching you work and, and your level of your commitment to, to service. I just unsurpassed. So, um, again, thank you for taking the time today. Really, thank really you really so much. Thank you so much. That was my first kiss. Today's last kiss would be you. Yeah. <laughs> Take care. Thank you, bro. <laughs>